Hello friends, this is Nageshwar. Welcome to my channel ITBot 143. In this tutorial, I will show how to share files from Windows Server 2008 to client system and how to add permissions for different users. Okay. Here, I'm having Windows Server 2008 on my virtual box and I'm using Windows 7 as my client system. Uh, you can see here this is my client system. Okay. Now I will show how to share files from the server to the client system. Okay. So just I'm creating a folder in my C document. And I'm naming it as NetShare. Okay. And after creating this, right click and come to properties. Uh, please come to sharing and please select share. Okay. Here I'm creating a group of people. So domain users. Okay. Otherwise, you can add everyone. Uh, but here I'm using domain users. Okay, just click on add. And now default it is giving read privileges because uh, with this our client system will not modify our files from the server. Okay, now come to client system. Now I will show how, to, uh, sorry, just click on share. Okay, now it is created and done. Okay, now close this. Okay, now come to client system. Uh, to view these files, just click on start and please follow this in your search. Okay, just uh, return slash and please type server and enter it. Now it is showing up my shared files and here I am having my net share. Okay, just open that and try to, uh, okay, just before that, uh, once again, please come to your server and I want to create a text document. Uh, okay. Right, just... I'm saving this. Okay, now you can find here. Uh, it is there, my file. Okay, just open that. And I will try to modify this. Whether it, this may be possible or not. Let's check it. Okay, just try to save this file. Yes, it is possible because I started my client system with my username with the administrative privileges. Okay, uh, just come to start in your server and come to act, active directory usernames and computers. Come to your local. Okay, uh, just come to technical. Here I I log in my client system with Rajumens. Okay, uh, just come to properties. Now you can sign. Uh, you can find this username having privileges of administrator. Okay, that's why we can modify these files. And again, I will try to use one more user. It is. Now uh, it is a basic user not having administrator privileges. Then I will show what the changes will be there. Okay. And now just come to start. And I am log offing this system. Uh, 
now i will start with different user username with a basic privileges okay and after that just select this okay now let's try to view our shared files okay for that please come to start and again please follow this and just enter now now please come to net share and open your okay now i will try to add a comment for this okay Okay, just save this file. Okay, do you want to replace it? No problem. Just click yes. Here it is showing access is denied. Okay, just click OK and close this. Okay, do not save because this is a basic user, so we cannot uh, modify our uh, server files. Uh, but we can read it and make uh, we can execute the files, but we cannot modify this. Okay. Now I will try to change this uh, Shared privileges for this Username, okay for that please come to start And open your computer and please come to the shared file and just right click go to properties uh, Please come to security now here you can find that uh, for domain users we can read and execute our shared file we cannot modify this okay and you can watch administrator having the lot of uh, permissions to change or to modify to fully control our shared files okay to change this please come to edit and please select domain users here i want to modify my file okay i'm selecting that and just click on apply and okay okay now come to client system now try to add okay now try to save this file Okay, now just open your nature. There, we can easily modify our server shared files by giving the special permissions to this net user. Okay, and after that, and we can also give permissions to the particular uh, group in my server. Okay, for that, just come to uh, computer and come to your shared folder just right click again go to properties okay come to security and edit this and here we have one more option add okay just here uh, I'm using okay this is my uh, group name let's check it okay sorry it is not there once again again i will come back just wait okay it's there yes uh it is tech group okay just come to properties again please come to security edit and add okay now tech group is added so i'm selecting this and i want to give full permissions for this tech group 
so all the users they can modify they can fully control my shared files like this we can add special group permissions from the system okay and after that just click on apply okay and okay uh, once again please come to direct end users and computers so in tech group there are two members uh, they can completely modify my shared files from the client system okay okay now again I will try to create a folder in my client system uh, let's check whether this may be view yes in server I can view this uh, folder created in my client system okay now I want to uh, map this shared folder in my client system for that just uh, go back and this is my shared folder from the server so just right click that and please select map network drive okay directly uh, here we need to give a uh, letter to the shared drive okay and folder is uh, this one I'm um, creating a map network drive okay after that please select reconnect at logon because if you select this uh, when your system is restarting then it will directly connect to your network drive okay and just click on finish okay let's find it now just come to my computer and here you can find the net share okay uh, I added L to my net share now you can find this so there are two folders okay and also you can more create a map network drive from your computer okay just come to my computer okay there map network drive is there okay here just uh, select it oh okay here just we need to type our server location okay and it is net share okay if you don't remember this you can browse your net shared file okay after that again reconnect at logon and click on finish okay like this now it is added okay like this you can map your shared files now I will show you a different concept just come to start okay uh, just open your run command there please type computer management dot msc and after that just click on ok now it opens your computer management there you can find a shared folders just expand this and please come to shares here you can find all the shares created from your server okay this is uh, created by me and uh, you can uh, see uh, some shared file is followed by the dollar because if you add this dollar to your shared file it will hide your shared folder from the client system okay okay let's try to check that and just come to your folder okay right click and go to properties and here I'm adding dollar sign okay and after that okay just share it okay and this folder is shared with other people okay just continue that okay now it came to oh, net shared with the dollar sign and just come to your client system now try to open that okay now you cannot view your 
shade folder okay uh, because generally in um, organization there are so many departments will be there if you want to uh, create uh, this folder only the specified people can view this so with that you can protect your data okay like this uh, you can share your files from your uh, server 2008 to your client system and add special permissions for different users okay depend on your requirement and thank you viewers thank you for watching my video if you like this video please click on like button and please share this video with your friends and please visit my channel it board 143 to watch more latest uploaded videos and please don't forget to subscribe my channel okay uh, thank you viewers have a nice day